Hey everybody, I recently bought some fighting games like Pokémon Tournament, of course, and then some other classics here like Virtual Fighter 2, Fighting Vipers, Fitted Fury, Mortal Kombat, and of course fucking Powerpuff Girls, the 64 one, not really classic, whatever. And then, you know, I bought like fucking Snowboard Kids 2 recently, you know, it's rare 64, rare and 64 game. And I started to think, what 64 game shall I, uh, or not even 64 game, sorry, what video game, fighting game, should I review? I would like to do Poké Tournament, I'm just, I'm not ready for it yet. So I decided, let's start with the video game that a lot of people really don't play, but they only do for an episode, including myself. So basically, here is the review of Sonic Gems Collection for Sonic the Fighters, the fighting game. The arcade game that's released like four times throughout its life cycle so far. So let's take a look. Maria! Sonic the Fighters was released in 1996 for arcades, but it was actually released as known title called Sonic Championship Edition, or Championship, sorry, uh, on the arcade, the arcade versions of North America and Europe, but everywhere else Sonic the Fighters. So uh, this game was developed by Sega AM2 for Sega Model 2 arcade system, and this was later on ported to this, uh, GameCube and PS2 due to uh, Sonic Gems collection. Now, the PS2 version only was released in Europe, as long as I with the GameCube version. But, the GameCube version was only released over here in North America. Uh, years after, in the, oh sorry, by the way, that was year 2005. Years after, maybe like, I think, s I wanna say seven, but it could be more. Uh, maybe eight, I don't really know. Uh, in the year 2012, a they released again as an HD port of it with a new brand new character that you could play as, as Honey the Badger, which you could play in, uh, uh, you know, hacking your game or cheating your game in with Game Shark or Action Replay. Uh, Honey the Badger, sorry, Honey the Badger, uh, Honey the Bat, I believe. Also, uh, the, the, the HD report was released on Xbox Live Arcade. PlayStation Network and uh, Steam in the year 2012. So I want to talk about this because, well, so many other fighting games have been coming out recently, uh, especially the biggest one right now that's Pokémon. I feel like I wanted to step back a notch and go to a fighting game that just I always played for some god reason. It's not the best one, and realistically, no one plays us two players. No offense, but it's something I always really played a lot as a kid. And it, you know, I don't really play as much as, at all ever now, but it's something I just wanted to go back to. So, of course, there's characters as in Sonic the Hedgehog, Knuckles and Kinda, Tails, Miles Per Hour, uh, some other characters, you know, like we got Amy the Rascal, still Rascal, not, not Rose yet. We got Fang the Dynamite, or sorry, Fang. No, Fang the Sniper, Bean the Dynamite, uh, I believe Bark the Polar Bear. Oh, sorry, an SBO to Chameleon. So that's eight characters. So yeah, that that's a thing. So in the game, every time you beat a round, you get a Chaos Emerald. So there's eight characters in general, and you have to get eight Chaos Emeralds, which is the first game that's not realistically part of the main games I'm aware of that has 
eight Chaos Emeralds. Not sure if any if one of those kept me uh can't see it. Ah fuck. If I don't know if any one of those Chaos Emeralds are a Master Emerald, but it realistically is just a Chaos Emerald. So yeah. Anyways, uh Dr. Robotnik basically rebuild or build basically Death Egg 2 again. And basically as help, you know, from Metal Sonic. So after you defeat all eight of them, yeah, including yourself, just gonna be a clone later on. You fight Metal Sonic, what I have to say is OP. Like, you say, please nerf whoever you want to say in, in certain games. Like Greninja or fucking... <clears throat> sorry, Greninja or Machamp or fucking Suicune or Mewtwo or something, but no. No. I say Mew... Uh, fucking, not Mute. Uh, please nerf Metal Sonic in this fucking game. Because it's just a freaking joke. And... It's just stupid. Which is it. It's just stupid. So, basically, after you beat him, you have to fight with actual Eggman, which is not that bad. He's not a joke. I mean, sorry, he's not a joke. He is a joke. He's not hard or anything. Uh, but you do have to beat him in, I think, 15 seconds or, or something like that. If you don't do it, you fail. If you do it, you watch, like, the place blow up or something like that. So, um, I, I don't know. I, I know, like, the best version that everyone's played is off the GameCube or PS2 version. I mean, there has been some people who probably most likely has played the HD ported version on Xbox Live Arcade and PSN, including Steam. But, I feel like no one's really played the actual arcade game. Like, in the arcades. I have never played it. I have never seen a copy or a copy, a machine called Sonic Championship. If, if it was there, I would for sure try it out. Uh, I would for sure pick Sonic, which to be honest, a lot of people only pick fucking Sonic. That's about it. Uh, later on in the, I believe in the GameCube version, later, you know, later on ported versions to the uh, Sonic Gems collection, uh, you could play as Super Sonic, I think, or something else, I, I, I think. Uh, also, uh, so Honey the Badger, or Honey the Badger, sorry, why are you saying that? Honey the Bat, uh, was only in the HD port, which... I do show off in some parts of my own actual let's play of it when I did months, not a month ago, sorry, years ago. And I gotta say, it's been a while. So I might be showing off some gameplay of it. I mean, it's not in, like, like, recording, like, capture card wise, it's like, can't record or what's not, but it's still good enough in my own opinion. Um, like I said, no one really plays this game. I think it's an okay fighting game. It's, it's, it's like, for real, it's most likely, like, baby's first fighting game. Let's say that. That's seriously what this is to me. It's not Mortal Kombat, it's not Killer Instinct, it's not Street Fighter, it's not Fatal Fury, it's not anything like that. I think this is probably one of the best examples to make someone start playing fighting games. Like, start getting into fighting games, like, like rage critting or something like that. Because that's not really what people want to do. They, want to, they don't want to rage quit. Uh, but still, you know, for a Sonic fighting game, it's actually a pretty good, decent version of it. Because, you know, they could have been, like, so much worse with picking any other kind of fighting game out there, but but at least, you know, Sega did a good job with this one, so. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, at the end of the game, basically, Eggman escapes or what's not, and you win or something like that. I don't know, it's, 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 it's kind of sketchy. But, uh, yeah, so... Ooh, sorry. I, I just have to really burp at that. Anyways. I feel like this game doesn't get much love. It Like, everybody knows what this game is, so it does have recognition, but I don't feel like it has enough love. It's very short. It's very not even, like, like worth much, but I feel like it's worth a shot to, like, hey, maybe you'll try, maybe you have a kick out of it for a bit. This is realistically was like four dollars or five dollars on PSN and Xbox Live Arcade when it first launched, so it's really nothing in compared of how much it is. It, it could have been ten dollars at max for real, but still nothing. So, anyways, uh, my review for Sonic the Fighters, I have to give it just a 6 out of 10. Now, it's not saying much. Like I said, there's nothing brand new here. Uh, I did forget to mention that 
there's barriers at some point in the game that, that, that what, when you start to fucking fight. There's like four barriers. If your barriers are broken, all of them are gone. It it's gone forever until the end of that match and uh, what's not. Not the end of the round to the end of the match. It kind of reminds me of uh, Duel Masters, which I remember was like five barriers or something. I don't know. I don't know. I just remember about Duel Masters, but still, it's worth checking out. Uh, it, it it you can just spam buttons, honestly, especially the A or X, depending what version you're playing of the game, a lot or the other buttons too. But realistically, I feel like only try it if you want to try fighting games. Like if you think that game could be hard, I say don't try fighting games at all. But if you like the game, you thought it was good, and you're ready for something better. I would say, you know, like, give it a shot, like I just said, try something better after this. It's for sure a step into the fighting genre, I would totally say. Um, anyways, so, yeah, like I said, my review of the game in general is a 6 out of 10. Now, should you own it, should you get rid of it, should you destroy it, anything like that, I feel like you should try it out. That's seriously kind of really it, just, just kind of like, rent it or something if, like you can't well you can borrow it but just kind of rent it or something that's all i can really say because it's nothing really like like you know something you want to keep maybe you do want to keep but you know nothing like oh it's worthwhile to keep anyways everybody uh that's gonna be it for today uh thank you for watching my review on sonic the fighters or sonic championship edition or do i say championship edition i don't know sonic championship um but uh, I feel like there could be more to this game. I just know it. But it, it was really like, I don't know, super freaking, what's the freaking word? Not enough content. Let's say that. Uh, the fighters is at least fucking nine or ten fighters. But it's still realistically not that great. But like I said, give it a try. Rent it or something. It's a 6 out of 10 kind of game. I would have said just 5 out of 10, but, you know, it has a teeny bit of goodness. So, not bad. It's not that bad. It's just, please nerf Metal Sonic. He's too fucking good. Too fucking good. You get mad at him. So, anyways, I can't really talk. Fuck. It's because I ate fucking chocolate. Anyways, everybody, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, leave a comment below. I'm going to see you guys all for the next uh, Black Blur Reviews, which I have no idea what it's going to be. So, once again, everybody, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys all for the next one, alright? Bye!